Oh my god, oh my god. About a week ago, Ollie from Fingerboard Popcast, who, like, if you guys don't know what that is, like, you should, and you should go listen to the podcast. I'll link to it in the description. Ollie heard on the Fingerboard Brew that Evan needed a new set of BRTs, and he just figured he would send him a free set for no apparent reason. And he also decided to send me something. Um, and he asked if there was anything in particular that I needed. I figured I would use this opportunity and also ask for some BRTs because as you guys know, I don't love BRTs. That's because of some bad experiences I've had with the trucks before. But yeah, I thought I'd take this opportunity and give BRTs another try because so many people just just love these trucks so much and honestly I just really want to love them I've wanted to love them for a while but it's a lot of money to drop and Ollie was very happy to send me a set as well so thank you very much Ollie for that I think there might be something else in here I'm not 100% sure because he wanted to send me something anyway we'll see I'm so excited for this whoa Okay, so we got two posters here. Oh, it's actually four posters. Whoa, this is sick. Got Ruben Young here. This guy's, I just know his name is Bevop on Instagram. We got Jelbo. But yeah, it's, these are the same posters. Got, I think, an obstacle here. We got the BRTs. There's a deck in here. I'm not gonna look at that yet. Why is there a deck? <laughs> Whoa, he said so much stuff though. What the heck? Um, got a catalog. I haven't had a Black River catalog in a minute. Got all the usual stickers, Black River trucks, Uncommon Pleasure, Ruben Young. Bali sticker. I love that little elephant. I know most people in the framework community don't love that elephant, but I love him. I think he's really cute. Bunch of Black River stickers. Oh look, it's Ollie. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a throwback. And we got, I think it's a rail. What? No idea why he just decided to throw in this rail. It's like iron pipe rail. What rail is this called? I don't see it in the catalog. It's such a nice height too. But yeah, this is really sick. Thank you so much, Ollie. I'm gonna look at the deck because I don't know what it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What? What the? Oh my God. I'm actually gonna cry. Are you kidding me? Oh, no way. Look at that. Look at it. So on the podcast, I must have mentioned or talked about how I really regret selling my Alias Asmut deck from a really long time ago. It's a really, really simple graphic, of course, as you can see. And it was one of my very first boards I ever bought. It was probably one of my first five decks I bought. Maybe even my second deck, honestly. I ended up selling it because I was just like getting rid of a bunch of my fingerboard stuff. I sold it like a couple years ago. I really, really regretted selling it because it has a lot of memories for me. Oh my gosh, it's actually 20, 28 or 27. You can kind of tell that it is more of a 28 because the wheels stick out a bit. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe he sent me this. The reason why I was really upset that I sold that board was also because they don't make that graphic anymore, or at least I didn't think they did. And so I wasn't able to purchase that deck ever again. Oh my god, I, I just like, I don't, I... I cannot believe this. <laughs> what? This is the best day. This is truly the best day. <laughs> like, because honestly, these trucks look really sick. I don't know what trucks these are. They don't look like the China ones and they don't really look like the Technic ones either. And these are like the, I think the Bali wheels. Thank you so much, Ollie. This is, this is crazy. <laughs> I am truly going to treasure this forever. It is never getting sold. But yeah, thank you so much, Ollie. 
All right, I'm going to stop freaking out over that for a second and talk a little bit about the Black River trucks. These are 32 millimeters. I asked for gold base plates because I have a set of gold base plate dynamics, but the base plate stripped, so I don't really have a set of gold base plate trucks. Got the Black River tool and a couple more stickers. These look sick. I do definitely think that out of all the truck options we have out there, that BRTs are like the prettiest looking. So I texted Ollie and he replied saying that this is the last Elias Asmuth deck he could find in the company. I cannot even express how excited I am. All of today's stuff was crazy to receive. I'll get back to you guys on the trucks, but my gosh, wow, we're starting off really, really good in this video. All right, so next day I managed to cut myself, I don't know how. I figured today I would set up these BRTs. As you guys know, I believe in testing products with stuff that you know you already like. So if you're testing out new trucks, set it up with wheels that are already broken in and a deck that is already broken in with tape that is already broken in. But I think the best option here is the fizzy board. Yeah, let's go ahead and set these up. These obviously come like with bushings, but I'm gonna switch them out. Again, with stuff that I know I like, so I'm gonna switch them out for Zane shits. I'm worried some of you are gonna come at me in the comments and say that I only wanted to get BRTs because they were free. And the thing is, I'm not gonna argue against that. All the sets I've had just like didn't, I guess, work well enough. I don't know how to explain that, but the only other new set I got I gave them a few days to break in and to be quite honest, I don't think I gave them a proper chance. Later on, I would buy secondhand sets of BRTs and I would try them. That was when I wasn't really like filming myself fingerboarding or anything like that. I wasn't making videos really. And those also just like weren't my favorite either. And the most recent secondhand set I bought was from Brendan, Boxed Lunch. The base plates on those also stripped, but I did actually enjoy the trucks like while they lasted. So yeah, I did ask for BRTs because they were offered free to me. I mean, as would anyone, if I can test a product for myself and see if I enjoy it, you know, like the trucks or 65 euros or I think something like 65 US I don't really remember I just remember it's a lot of money to drop if you don't know for sure like if you're gonna like them I did end up switching the trucks onto this setup right here and I set it up with some flat face cow ply edition wheels but anyway BRTs. I get it now. I have been riding these trucks like since I set them up last night. I haven't stopped fingerboarding, but I really do actually enjoy these trucks. And I know you're gonna think that I'm just saying this because I got these free. So let me explain what I think happened in the past and why I didn't like them before. I think the reason why I didn't like BRTs in the past comes down to several things. When I bought my very first brand new set of BRTs, I was at that stage of fingerboarding when I couldn't ride anything that wasn't familiar to me. It was like a year and a half into me fingerboarding. I wasn't very good. And if I wasn't riding wide trucks and plastic wheels, I couldn't ride anything like it just wouldn't work for me now i am still a creature of habit but i'm able to ride like different things so i can ride wide trucks i can ride dynamics and now i can ride brts i can ride plastic i can ride urethane i can ride cartwheels it's just like i prefer certain things over other things but back then it just like wasn't even a choice for me and I didn't really understand that obviously. I didn't understand that the problem was me. And then the other thing was the bushing choices that were available at the time. From when I started fingerboarding, I loved loose trucks. That's just like something that has never changed for me. The only soft bushings at the time that I knew of were team bushings. 
I really didn't know much about bush ends at all, but I would try everything that I could. I had only just discovered bubble bushings that you could buy online. I didn't understand at the time that they just weren't the bushings for me. The importance of bushings is not something I've realized up until maybe two years ago. Flat face seam bushings weren't really that soft. They were just thin. So you would have more room to loosen your kingpin. Whereas with bubble style bushings, you couldn't really loosen your kingpin that much. I sold those brand new BRTs. And then I discovered fingerboard store or FBS O-rings, which were the softest bushings I had ever tried in my life. But then during the year of me experimenting with BRTs, they weren't selling the o-rings anymore so i had one set but they were on my y trucks i eventually actually broke them during the year i bought a ton of sets that either were stripped or i just didn't like how they felt because i couldn't get my trucks as loose even now i still think i get the loosest trucks on y trucks but yeah those are the main reasons why back then i really didn't like them but now with these zane ship bushings which are just as soft if not softer than the fbs o-rings they work perfectly on brts but honestly like i'm sure you understand that after so long of trying out brts and then not enjoying them i just kind of gave up on trying them because i was wasting a lot of money on stuff that i wasn't enjoying but then when i bought the brts secondhand from brendan i was like hey like i don't mind these and then vortex trucks came around and i bought their base plates and i just slapped the brt hangers on there and it's honestly like the perfect fit but honestly it came down to trial and a lot of error just stuff that didn't really work for me and i didn't want to drop money on trucks that I you know at the time didn't think I liked I would rather spend it on trucks that I knew I enjoyed like dynamics or Y trucks I still really really love Y trucks but I think if I need to buy some new trucks in the future I'll give BRTs another go and purchase a set especially since this set was set free to me all right so I forgot to end the vlog but I did set up this board actually Replace the tape with some sponsor me tape. I used the same trucks that were sent with it because they look really nice and uh, some flat face G6As. For me, this is a very classic setup. I distinctly remember setting up my Alias Azimuth deck with the flat face G6As. And I used to ride these wheels all the time. Like for some reason, they were my favorite wheels ever, but I don't really ride colored wheels anymore. So this is probably just gonna stay on this setup. And if I do end up framing this, the wheels will probably like be on it. I'm just gonna frame it as it is. But yeah, the Black River trucks have made their way into one of my main setups. So I've also decided that for my next Fizzy sponsor pack, I'm gonna set up a deck with some Black River trucks. Thank you again to Ollie so, so much for all the stuff. It means a ton. The rail is also really, really sick. It's really great practice for me because I don't really ride rails. So I've been using that more and trying to get better at rail tricks. But yeah, if you guys don't already follow Ollie, go ahead and follow him and go and check out the Fingerboard Popcast if you don't listen to them. They're a really good like news oriented Fingerboard Podcast. So I encourage you to listen to them. Everything will be in the description. All the links you'll need will be down there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again to Ollie and I'll see you guys in the next video.